Hello. If you are on and you can hear me, please chat into the question section. I'm also, okay, perfect. It looks like you can hear me. I'm going to try to share my camera too. Can you see me? Okay, cool. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you could see my camera. I like, didn't say if it was on or not. So thank you for being here. I'm so excited. This is like a new world, right, that we're going through. I'm in my bedroom. We set up an office at home um, right by like our window so we can look outside and feel like we're interacting <laughs> with the world, even though we are at home and we're being safe and everything like that. So if you hear weird noises and things, I am at home. <laughs> so I want to know where you guys are. So if you'll chat in to the question section, let me know that you can hear me well, where you're at. Are you at home? Are you in your location? I'd love to know where you guys are. Okay, so Connie's at home. David is from in Vancouver in your office. Do you have other people in your office too, or is it just you right now? I'm so curious how people are making this work. We've had a lot of calls this week with a lot of different dealers and even distributors, and we felt like um, having the cameras on so that you can see people just made it a little bit feel like we're actually collaborating a little bit better. So that's why I wanted to turn on the camera. If it glitches or it becomes distracting, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm happy to turn it off to make sure that our presentation goes well. Okay, you've got a bunch of people in the office. Ken, you're in Baltimore. Karen's in office. Jack is in Denver in office. We've got a couple JCI reps. Okay, so David, you are in office. There are other people there, but you are social distancing. Oh my gosh, it is such a wild ride right now. So just before we get started, this webinar is being recorded. I am doing four different sessions so that um, your teammates or other uh, uh, locations can hop on when they can. We just figured it was a good time to go over Qualsys, what we're doing, where we're going, all of those different things. So um, just kind of a refresher. I'll go through a presentation about Qualsys. If it's information that you feel like you already know and are very familiar with, we have a small group on today. So feel free to just chat me. Hey, been here, done that. Can we, I have other questions. Um, so chat those in so I can make sure that I'm talking about things that are relevant to you and that it's useful to you. The last thing I want to do is take the next hour or less and have it be like, well, you know, I didn't get much out of that. This is our opportunity to be very candid, very transparent and talk through everything that's happening. Um, I am Whitney White, probably should have started with that. <laughs> I've worked, been with Qualsys for about six years. Before that, I worked for a Fortune 500, um, not Fortune 500, top 100 SDM company in based out of Utah, that's where I am. It's snowing right now to add insult to injury, right? But um, yeah, I worked for a dealer for about 10 years before that. I started as a customer service rep when I was going to college out here, and then um, I just slowly moved my way up. I became a supervisor for customer service. I dabbled with tech support, not heavily, but a little bit. I did inside sales. I moved to, um, I managed the 2G to 3G transition. If you remember that, I was part of that for that company. Lots of calling. It was painful, but we made it work. Um, lots of things. Yes, Pete, you are in the chat area. There's two different spots. There's a chat section and there is a question section. I'm gonna be monitoring the question section. Um, anyway, so I did a lot of that upgrade, 2G to 3G, so I'm very familiar with that and the pain points that some of our dealers are facing right now. I was at the helm of that for my company. We did over 100,000 accounts a couple of years, so I'm very familiar with the dealers and what they, ooh, what they are going through and sorry about that um and the fears that kind of surround lte upgrades and we're going to jump into that just a little bit so you guys are know what we're doing at a high level um i ran retention i helped do we i helped did um 
account creation for new account onboarding. And that's where I was when I transitioned over to Qualsys. And now I'm managing the strategy for distribution and sales strategy to help support our sales team that's out in the field and to help host trainings with you guys at your locations and really want to make sure that as a distributor, you have what you need and things like that. So that's a little bit about me. If you have more questions, I'm more than happy to talk to you, whether it's now or later, I'm happy to do one-on-one -on -one calls or do a specialized training, whatever you'd like. Okay, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna start with a overview of Qualsys and kind of a short review of what the IQ Panel 2 Plus is and why it's different, because we feel that that's our flagship product and that is where we have put our blood, sweat, and tears into. So let's jump on in. Before we can talk about the IQ Panel 2 Plus, I wanna tell you a little bit about what our mindset was when we went into building the IQ Panel. Um, and that was kind of the state of the market. And regardless of what other dealers are selling, whether it's rubber button keypads or something else, most people who have a security system have something that looks like what's in that upper right hand, left hand corner. So it's kind of dated, it's connected to landlines, or maybe it might be, it's probably 3G. A lot of our dealers are moving into that. And there's not really a ton of encryption there. And so what we realized is that we had some competitors coming into the market that were stealing our customers away, the Nest, the Ring, the Simply Safe, with a different mentality and a different way that they went to market. Um, so dealers were kind of like, well, how do I compete with this? Like they, the Nest and the Rings and the Simply Safe, they've got so much more than I have because I'm just a small dealer. But with us, we kind of felt like what you need to lead with is something that's familiar to a consumer and it's something that they, they really want, something that they look at and they're like, yeah, you know, and we kind of felt like the security systems of when we entered the market, you know, uh, eight or nine years ago, that it wasn't really there. So we felt like leveraging the Internet of Things and we want everybody wants screens. They want touch screens. They want to feel connected. They want something that is intuitive, something that they don't really have to deal with a ton. And security systems are kind of scary, right? They're easy to, I don't want a false alarm. I don't want to accidentally set it off. I don't want to call the police. Like, there's a lot of fears as an end user. So we just wanted to make sure that we have the right panel with the right technology, with the right experience and the support of the internet of things that's being inundated in everybody's home right now. And we just need to give them the right tools. And that's where the panel came in. So. And that's where Qualsys was developed, and that's kind of how we were born. But we couldn't build a platform by ourselves. We knew that we were just a small little software company. So we leveraged partnerships, and we leveraged Foxconn, and they're the largest manufacturer of consumer electronics, things like Apple, Cisco, Xbox, PlayStation. So it's coming out of a factory that does really quality work. Qualcomm invented LTE, and they make chipsets for all the smartphones and tablets that you're seeing out in the market now. Of course, Android, everybody knows Android. We basically are leveraging the smarts of their engineers into our panel. So something as simple as languages, it's already built in using Android. Um, Alarm.com, I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. LTE providers, Verizon, AT&T, and TELUS. And then of course, Johnson Controls. They invested early in Qualsys and they gave us access to, oh my gosh, the best sales team. I'm sure you guys know who your JCI rep, we work with them heavily and closely, and they are some of the, the most educated, smart people I've ever worked with in the industry. So I'm really excited that I get to work with them closer, personally at Qualsys, but they, um, they provide PowerG, and they are the best wireless security sensor technology in the world. So we wanted to make sure that we were partners with them. Um, let me see. Okay, I just wanna make sure I didn't have any questions yet. Okay, so then we have the IQ panel was born. Here's a quick overview. Let me turn up my volume. In the IQ panel. And here's a few reasons why. The IQ panel is a seven inch touch screen with a built-in camera. It's ultra thin and it can be mounted on the wall, but it also includes a table stand. Inside the panel, there's a lithium ion battery, siren, and Qualcomm Snapdragon. The Qualcomm Snapdragon is an entire system on a single chip. 
On top of this platform, we've added three daughter cards, one for Z-Way Plus, one for Power G, the latest encrypted sensor technology with four times the range compared to standard wireless security. And one for your legacy wireless security technology. The IP panel includes Bluetooth touchless disarm, which allows you to pair up to five smartphones with your system. And when you arm your system to a way, the system disarms automatically when you get back. You can also get disarm photos sent to your phone or smartwatch. The IT panel uses the latest in LTE and Wi-Fi dual path connectivity to keep your system running fast, constantly connected, and up to date with the latest software upgrades. The IQ panel also includes Live View with Live Answer. The ability to view your Alarm.com video cameras on screen and even answer your SkyBell video doorbell right from the panel. So that is kind of a short overview of the IQ panel. So basically, when it came to hosting this training for you guys, I realized that you don't need the same training that dealers do. You don't need the same training that a sales team does. You have to know so many different things on the market. So whether it's different security panels or it's different sensor lines, you have to know so much. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through the next few slides. I just wanna make sure that you know what the biggest things are that really sets apart the IQ panel. And if a dealer walks in and is like, what is this? I know nothing about this. Well, how is it different from anything else? You'll know at least a couple different things and I'll give you some tips and tricks about if you forget, where to look on the box so that you know what to talk about. So the first one is that looks matter. When we came into the market, we're looking at, okay, so when I worked for the dealer years ago, I don't even remember how long ago it was, I was over the friends and family program. And so my brother got a security system out in California. So I arranged the install and everything like that. We got him a good rate and the installer went out and then my brother calls me later and he's like, and my brother is very blunt and he's very to the point and he thinks he's funny and he's older than me. So if that gives you any indication. <laughs> so he calls me and he's like, what is this thing? It's like a big toolbox. It's kind of yellow. It's got buttons on it. I don't know what this is. <laughs> and he was really disappointed with the technology. So when I came to Qualsys, I was really excited to see that one of the things they we care most about is how it looks and how it feels. And so we wanted to make sure that when you take out your phone, it's not a flip phone. It's going to be a touchscreen smartphone, right? We don't use flip phones because what you can do with a smartphone, but it's also part of like how it, how it looks and how it feels. Whether you choose to mount your IQ panel or use the table mount, it comes with a table mount in every single package, but we wanted to make sure seven inch touchscreen, touch and swipe based user interface, and it feels like your phone. We didn't want it to be something that didn't feel familiar. And what's interesting about this is when we talk to people who have never used the IQ panel and we hand it to them and say, just start playing with it. See if you can't figure it out. And they start swiping and they start uh, swiping up and down, left and right. It makes sense. And so that makes obviously next would be the installation process is so much simpler. And we'll talk more a little bit about that later, but um, the IQ panel, it's perfect for a residential install. We wanted to make a panel that regardless of what kind of installation you walk into or scenario you walk into with a customer as a dealer, our panel will work. And it's one protocol that your technicians need to know. And it's one platform and it's one technology base. So you, no matter what, whether it's residential, commercial, a takeover, a uh, new install, a 3G upgrade, it doesn't matter, it's gonna work and it's gonna be simple because your techs know it. So let me see if there's any questions. If you guys are quiet this morning, feel free to talk in that chat section. I am happy to interact with you. This is our chance. This is our chance to get to the meat of what you wanna know. Okay, so residential installs, we've got Bluetooth, touchless disarming, my favorite feature because I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I just walk in, I arm my system, I get an alert from alarm.com that says you forgot to arm your system because I do that on a regular basis. So I go into the app and I arm it. I don't, don't know if you guys have seen the app before. So you just arm it and then when I come home, I don't have to do anything. My garage opens, my system disarms, my back door unlocks or my garage door unlocks because that's where we come in through the house. 
And it's simple. I use my system more. I arm it more frequently because I'm not worried about false alarms because it's going to disarm automatically. Okay. And then you have, uh, oh, we do have some dealers that get a little iffy about Bluetooth disarm disarming. That is a feature you can turn on and off. You do not have to um, have that on. And you can pair it to five smartphones. It's basically like five free key, key fobs that are built into the panel. Then you've got live answer. So you install a smart doorbell. We use alarm.com Skybell. And you can answer the doorbell straight from your panel as well as your phone. But we like having it on the panel because then no matter where you're at, you can use it. And then you've got a built-in camera. It's a five megapixel panel camera. The one in your phone, I believe, is a eight megapixel to give you kind of a comparison. Um, and with that panel camera, you get disarm photos that it can be sent to your phone. And you can also do that for the Bluetooth disarming as well. So that when motion's detected, it'll snap a photo and you'll get a photo of, of whoever's walking past the panel. Um, they're saved on the panel. The cloud can be sent to your phone or an email. Name, date, and time are all captured on that. And then um, it also records up to four minutes of video when it's in alarm status. So it's more than just a camera. Okay, let's see if we have. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the next screen. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Go back. Okay. Okay, no chats yet. Okay, so then you've got, where are we? Oh, live ants or live view. So your alarm.com cameras that are indoor and outdoor, you can view straight from the panel. You can even communicate on them if you have that capability on the camera itself. And then you've got a built-in glass break detector. And so when the system's armed away, the microphones are listening for the sound of breaking glass and will go off. And then you have um, photo frame, which is a really nice touch. If you've got a customer that's like, oh, I don't like it out in the open, slap some family photos on there and you can't even tell. I always have mine on the weather because I just like to know the weather. I don't know why I don't, in case I want to coat, I don't know, but <laughs> I like having the weather personally. So these are kind of some key features. All of these things are built into that panel. So the dealer doesn't have to buy anything else. It comes all in one, all in the box with your cell card, your um, Bluetooth disarming, live answer features, live video, built-in glass break, and photo frame. So that's one thing we take a lot of pride in. Everything is built in. You don't have to buy 15 different things. That might be an exaggeration. The IQ Panel 2 Plus also very much, this is a huge selling point. I answer the phones for Qualsys with my coworker, Kelsey, and we are answering questions that dealers have on a regular basis. And this answers so many questions that they have. It's dual SRF with PowerG. So we've got, um, the panel comes in 319.5, which is your Interlogix compatibility with PowerG, or you can get it in 345, which is your two gig Honeywell frequency for takeovers and things like that. Or if they wanna use that product line, they can with PowerG. And then you've got 433, which is the DSC product line with PowerG. So we've got three different flavors that a dealer can purchase. And um, it really makes a huge difference when you are you don't know what you're walking into as a dealer. So again, any scenario, we've got your answer. If you walk into a small business, you walk into a residential, a takeover, a hardwire takeover, we can help and we're gonna add certain things. We're gonna add encryption. With PowerG, you're adding a whole new military grade level encryption with a better range and a longer battery life and it's just smarter. So the fact that we've partnered together so well and then catered to all the different scenarios that dealers walk into, it makes for a really simple, easy solution. So let's talk a little bit about commercial. We've got four partitions, screen lock with up to six digit codes. You've got alarm.com access control for large business facilities and then remote disarm photos. So you can verify your employees. I'm the first one in the office at Qualsys, and I'm sure Jeremy McLaren, my boss, loves to see what time I come rolling in the door <laughs> to make sure that uh, I'm on time and that I, he likes to say that based on my photo that I, pay, I take, he can tell what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> so I don't know how accurate that is. I try throwing them off and take weird photos from time to time. It's kind of a running joke at this point. If you've had the TAM team in office or in your location, doing trainings, I know that they will get the uh, alerts for the disarm photo for our office. 
and they love to show the ones where I'm making stupid faces. So <laughs> remote discard photos is a Qualsys favorite out of Aurum just because you never know what you're gonna get. So those are some small business features that we offer. Again, it's all the same panel, all the same SKU. You don't need to know a billion different product lines for a small business solution. And then with Power G, if you guys don't know about Power G, I would love to talk to you about it. Your JCI rep would love to talk to you about it. It is so powerful. You can secure large facilities and complex structures. We had our uh, technical account manager team with Kevin Woodworth, if you guys are familiar with him. They went out to the salt flats and I think it was a day, I don't know, there was some kind of racing going on out there, but they went out and they tested the range of Power G and it, was kind of comical because I'm watching the video that they put together, kind of excited to see how it worked. And they're like, yeah, there he is on the other side of the valley. And you, I'm like, I am sorry, that dot, <laughs> they were so far away. We also tested it at ISC West, obviously not this year, last year. And with all of the interference that was happening at ISC West setup and all of the things that are connected to Wi-Fi, all of the things that are communicating, it shouldn't have really been that powerful. But if you've ever been to ISC, that show floor is massive. And we were able to go out from the front of the show floor, out the back door and outside, and it was still communicating with no issues. Power G is huge. It works on metal, concrete. You can use repeaters. It's ultra long range. It will secure, I dare say, any kind of commercial scenario that your dealers are walking into. Okay, no questions yet. You guys are so quiet. I'm so impressed. Okay, so again, here's our dual SRF. You've got three choices. I'll include PowerG. This is just kind of a visual to show you what we offer with our product line. And you as distribution, you're going to see three different color boxes. Your gold box is going to be your S line, which is our product line and your inner logics product line we have a um a lot of dealers calling in switching over from inner logics and they want to know if we have a solution for it that gold box is your solution you can use any of your old inventory from inner logics or you can use qualsys inventory or you can use the power g product line and they've got a lot of really cool devices that we haven't even begun to penetrate yet so uh between those three lines your dealer is going to be just fine and then again they all come in verizon at&t and telus and then your gray box or silver box is going to be your two gig and honeywell product lines so it's not going to work with the qualsys product line but it will work with two gig and honeywell devices and then again verizon at&t telus and then your red box is going to be your 433 support dsc along with your um power g so we always get a lot of questions about this let's see Okay, Mike wanted to know if you could use multiple frequency lines on one solution. You can't. You can. You have to pick your SRF frequency, right? It's either got to be 319.5 or it's got to be 433 or it's got to be 345. It can't communicate intermittently. Every single SRF line, though, will come with that power G. So hopefully that answers that. Let's see. Um, have you tested range on two gig and Honeywell? David wants to know. Yes. So it's going to be your standard range. It's going to be about a hundred feet open air is what we found. Again, it kind of depends on the scenario you're installing in, but it's just typical. So it's the same as the Qualsys product line. Gen basically every single product out there, that's just uh, 345, 433, uh, 319.5 is going to be roughly 100 feet open air. It's when you get into the Power G product line that you're seeing that, you know, quadruple. So you're seeing that go exponentially far and you're not seeing the metal interference that you see in the regular SRF products and things like that. Okay, let's see. Tyler wants to know if we're seeing any impact on coronavirus and um, our production lines. So this is a really good question, one that people are asking a lot, one that pleasantly enough, we are doing just fine. We uh, prepared enough and your team's prepared enough for um, Chinese New Year that we're not seeing any impact yet. Our manufacturers that provide some of the pieces for our products all look good. So we're taking it day by day, but as of right now, we're we're doing just fine. So. We're happy about that. Okay, 
I think that's all the questions so far. Perfect. Okay, so we've got five more slides left. No, seven more slides left. And then we're going to jump into the really interesting stuff for dealers that really sets Qualsys apart. Okay, diagnostics. Get it right before you leave. You leave. Your technician installs it. You can see the noise floor of your security frequency, and you can change it based on that before you leave. And you can also obviously use alarm tool fit, uh, tool kit and things like that. And then along with this diet with SRF diagnostics, we've got Z-Wave diagnostics, all viewable on screen. What's cool about the Z-Wave diagnostics is, as you know, it's a mesh network. And if you've got devices that are kind of sporadically placed, sometimes the line it chooses to communicate to the panel is all over the place. And then when it gets to the end of that line, it's like, not really a great communication line. So using the panel, you can actually change that line to be a more direct route. So we love diagnostics. We're seeing a huge impact on go back rates and the, the decline and the cost and savings and things like that. So diagnostics is, is huge. Typically your dealer has to buy a di diagnostic tool to even use with their installs. And I think if memory serves it, hundred dollars or so maybe maybe closer to 70 i can't remember but um it's all built in so again we tried to make a simple solution where everything's built into the panel and you don't have to buy all of this other stuff okay so dealer support this is where i'm gonna go rogue i'm gonna take off the presentation yes okay so i'm gonna go take it to qualsys.com because this is not only for dealers, this is for you and your teams as well. So if you go to qualsys.com and then click on dealers, I know you're not dealers, but click on it anyway. <laughs> and then if you click on the second step, register login to portal. And if you've never logged into our dealer portal, oh, of course I'm logged in, let me log out. If you've never logged into our dealer portal, then um, you're gonna have to create a login. If you have, and the way that you do that is you just go register and then you fill out this little form and it takes about 24 to 48 hours. If you email me because you want access now, I might be able to help with that, expedite it a little bit faster. Fill out that form, 24 to 48 hours, you'll have access. So if you have logged in, you just log in again. <laughs> Use your username and email that you set. Let me see if we get questions on this. Okay, this is gonna take you to our blog and there's news and updates. So TSBs that are coming out, press releases, webinar announcements. I'll talk about that webinar in a little bit <laughs> and things like that. So this is just our blog page. You can filter it. Anytime we do a webinar, you're gonna see the recording. So this is me, Jeremy and Kelsey. I don't know, three, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. This was a survey someone did on Qualsys, dealer podcast, Kelsey does every month. Um, anyway, so that's what you're gonna find on the blog. But what I want you guys to know about specifically is training and your dealers all have access to this too. So don't feel like this is exclusive to distribution. This is, all of this is for your dealers as much as it is for you and I'm your contact. So if you have questions or you have advice or you wanna see something different, call me, email me. I will give you my contact info after this. So the thing I wanna talk about is training. That very first tab up on the top header, we've got sales training, technical training and e device training all of these are just short videos here we can oh wait that one probably won't work so overview of devices it's a short video i'm going to mute this so that it doesn't overtake everything so you, as you can see this is a 36 second video and then you take a short quiz after you've gone through all of it and then that's it you just go through the entire training and when you're done you're going to be a qualsys guru when it comes to sales and knowing what there is and what Qualsys all offers as far as sales goes. So we've got all different kinds of categories, all different kinds of things to learn about. And then you've got your technical training. Wait for it. So this was developed by our TM team. I did the voiceovers for it because for some reason they thought it would be more interesting if I did the voiceovers. So, um, and you can learn how to set up, how to program, how to do basic troubleshooting and things like that. So if you're interested in any of that, you can go through the techni te technical training as well. And then you've got device training. This is gonna be a more in-depth overview and training on each individual device that Qualsys offers, as well as our partners. So you've got indoor cameras, outdoor cameras, video doorbells. We don't manufacture those, but Alarm.com does, and we want you to know how it, inter how it interacts with the IT panel. 
Um, but yeah, so that's the training section. I don't think we have any questions so far. So your dealers can go through that. You guys can go through that. It's online. You don't have to wait for somebody to host something for you. You can do it all on your own time, in your own pace. So long, you know, when you're interested, sometimes you have to feel a little interested in your trainings. And then we have our download section. Downloads is probably where I spend most of my time in the dealer portal. If you go to residential downloads, you're going to find our um, emulator. So you can actually pull up the panel on your phone, interact with it, see how the swipe based interface and things work. And you can use that as a sales tool. We've got sales slicks, uh, product flyer, that product flyer. ISC was canceled, it was supposed to be last week, and I put so much work and time and energy and creativity into updating all of these flyers for ISC, so I'm so disappointed that it was canceled. But the good news is, we're gonna slowly update everything on here. So the first thing that's gonna be updated this week is gonna be that product flyer, and it's going to be the die cut. Where's the die cut? Oh, right here, I keep on plus die cut, right here. So all of these are online available for you or your dealers to download and print on your own terms. Um, we are providing each of your locations with three packs of die cuts. So hopefully that gets you at least somewhere. The backs have been updated. If you wanna see what they look like, I'm happy to send them to you. Um, and But again, these will be updated, I think by Friday. So, and then your product flyer, let me see. If I can pull it up, oh, you know, it's not ready yet to be seen. Sorry. So the product flyer is going to have, um, it's just going to be a prettier version, frankly, if I'm being honest with you, but it's going to have all of our product numbers. We did a webinar. Message me in the ch question section if you are on the webinar about the 2020 roadmap. We talked about some devices. And if you guys want to talk about that today, or if you think I should do another one and talk about that specific to distribution, or if you just want to link to that webinar, um, I'd love to know if you guys want to um, handle that, how you want to talk about that. Okay, Tammy has a question. How should we as a distributor direct our customer to handle defective items? I love this question because this is a question I get all the time answering phones. So, the process is they've got to go in and they've got to work with technical support and get a ticket number to try to resolve whatever issue is going on. Once they have that ticket number, then they go into you as the distributor and then you can get the RMA number with accounting. And once you have the RMA, then they're good to return it that way. We do not, she, uh, Tammy asks further, can they use an online RMA request or do they need a tech ticket? So we don't have an online RMA request at this time. So they're just going to have to, unfortunately, do it, um, work with technical support. There is a chat section. If you look at the web page, this little question mark, this is a chat section um, and a knowledge base. So you can say, I, I don't know, motion not working. I don't know if that will pull anything up. How do I enable live view and live answer? Oh, because that uses motion. Okay, so then it'll take you to a web page and it'll give you some tips and tricks on how to do that. If it's still not working, contact us directly. If you want to have them chat or if you ever want to chat with technical support, you're going to get, uh, I think this is monitored. I know it's monitored from um, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Time. I think it's monitored longer than that because uh, the technical account manager who's over this his name is Kyle, it's this guy right here, Kyle Audison. He is on it all the time and he's forwarding it to his phone. So he'll answer questions as well. They can call in and all of that. Sorry, I probably went too much into depth on that. Good question, Tammy. Okay, so I'll update this product flyer for you guys. We do have new products dropping in 2020. If you wanna know about them, I am happy to talk to you about them. We do not have a timeline quite yet, but we do know that they're coming in 2020. We're kind of waiting to see the impact if there's an impact, which we're not, there it doesn't seem to be quite yet. So again, all of these are available for download for your dealers. You've got residential flyers, upgrade flyers, wellness flyers, scripts, uh, door hangers. You'll see a lot of this is in green. If you have a dealer that wants, you know, this door hanger, but they want it to be in their company colors with their company logos, 
that's something that we will totally do for them for free, no cost, no requirements. Email marketing at qualsys.com and Kelsey Wing is going to handle all of those requests. And the same goes for all of these sales videos. If they want their logo put on it, we can help with that. Um, they want different coloring, we can help. They want a different voiceover. I do the voiceovers. I probably a couple times a month, I am doing new voiceovers for different dealers to make it more customized. Again, free of charge. Depends a lot on our bandwidth, but Kelsey will all will be able to help uh, with arranging all of that. We've also got animation videos. They, these are animations for the panel features. Again, you'll see a lot of green on here. We will customize any and all of these device videos, same thing, help videos, same thing. We're working on getting these in different languages as well. So stay tuned for those. This is somewhere that you kind of want to check semi-frequently. Documentation, here's your specifications, user guide, DIY guide. We're actually updating that DIY guide this week. So that's exciting. I'm excited to see how that comes out. Um, and then website assets. So dealers often come to us wanting to update their websites. No problem. We've got it on the dealer portal. It's all free. It is all available. It is all free for use. Have at it. Um, and then we do a couple email campaigns. So, and we'll dive into this in just a moment. Let me pull this up for you. So for an example, here's an email campaign for LTE upgrades. This is one that they would be able to up update themselves using their uh, mail company. We use MailChimp, it's cheap, it's effective, we go with it. But again, we will customize these, we will help them work with, through it and things like that so that they can email their customer base. So that's a big one. We've also got a downloads page for commercial and same things apply. We've got a commercial video that we'll customize. This is really big. I don't know why it came in that big. What is happening? I do not know. Okay, and then we've got feature videos. We'll customize any and all of this. As we develop new things for different dealers and things like that, we'll create a generic version and we'll throw it on this dealer portal. We're going through the process of updating our files right now. Um, for real, I don't know why this is so weird. Okay, so Builder, let's talk about a Builder program. Qualsys, I don't know why, what is happening? The world is crazy. <laughs> okay, so builders, dealers are realizing that if they work directly with a home builder, they can get systems put in and have it be part of the offering of a new home build. This is awfully powerful because knowing the internet of things a homeowner is going to either buy their own smart devices and put it in their home connected devices and they're going to have what do i have i have like i work for a smart company and i even still have bought the most random things we have amazon alexa 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 we have an echo we have um the iq panel alarm.com We've got Arlo, we've got just random stuff, right? But dealers are realizing if they work with a builder and they get all of these things built into the home automatically, that's a sealed deal. That's an easy sale right there. So we're leveraging and saying, we wanna help you work with builders and I'm over this process right now. So I'd love to talk to dealers about this. The nitty gritty of it is that for every 20 for every community that has 25 homes or more will provide a free model home kit working with alarm.com and uh, power G. So you've got, this is what they're going to get with 25 homes or more for, for every 25 homes, they're going to get one free IQ panel, sky bell, indoor camera, door lock. They're going to get a year free of um, basic alarm.com app access they're going to get power g window sensors and they're going to and motion sensor and then they're going to get a thermostat as well and they can customize this as, too so working with alarm.com they can figure out oh we don't want this video camera we want that video camera things like that um so this is huge right now i think in the month of let me see if i can remember the numbers in the month of february we worked with over I want to say it was over 150 builders, different builders, and then a certain number of dealers working and getting into new homes. Sometimes their dealers are doing it differently for every builder. It's different. They can cater it. If they want to just have a kit 
in the model home so that when the builder's doing walkthroughs, they're seeing the system interacting. And then along with that, we've got suggested rules and devices. We've got placards. So when you put up a door sensor, don't just leave it there. Draw the potential buyer's attention to it. Put a placard next to it. Put a trim ad around the panel so that when they see it, they're like, what is this? They can ask about it. Um, we provide PowerPoint, excuse me, PowerPoint presentations for dealers to present to uh, builders to help them get into the, uh, into the new homes and things like that. And then dealers are just doing the model home and off, like presenting it as a premium, premium offering for a security smart home system, or they're getting in so tightly with the builder that every home is being a smart home and security offering. So every home's getting a Qualsys system with all of those devices you saw. And all the dealer has to do is basically do their due diligence, go back, say, hey, how do you like your system? I'd love to upgrade you. Would you like to do professional monitoring? It's X a month and things like that. Builder program is huge, especially as we enter spring and the build, we're gonna see the home market skyrocket, hopefully, right? <laughs> and then we've got, um, even now I've seen I think I have over 25 pending builder requests just from this week. So, and we're on Wednesday. So that's, it's booming. That's a big topic right now. Okay, so that's the builder page. Technical and software, same thing here. So you've got different downloads. One thing that we get, so installation manuals, quick guides, things like that. Um, let's see. Oh, and then let's talk about our LTE program real fast. We don't have any questions, so we're doing good. LTE program, if you, my sizing is going all off. I'm so sorry about my website. I'm like making it too big and making it too small. That's a me thing, not a website thing. <laughs> so I apologize. Okay, so LTE rebate program. If you scroll all the way down in the dealer portal and then click on LTE rebate program, this is what we're doing for dealers who are working on a 3G upgrade to LTE. We want dealers to feel like they're supported and that they're able to make good decisions when they're upgrading these 3G systems. We feel like in order to protect the longevity of the account, you're gonna wanna put a system in their home that is future proof. You're gonna want something that's gonna look good 10 years from now, you know? Whereas the systems that were installed with 3G don't really look good now. They didn't look good when they installed them, according to my brother. So let's update it. So we're offering the IQ Panel 2 Plus when a dealer upgrades from 3G to LTE in the IQ Panel 2 Plus, they can get up to $90 in rebates. We've partnered with Alarm.com on this as well. And they... All they have to do is fill out this form and I'm over this process as well. So really you just need to know me and I can help you out with any of these programs for your dealers. So they just fill out this form one time, they're gonna enter in their alarm.com support ID, uh, choose their distributor of choice. I'm sure you guys have already seen these come through. If you have questions, feel free to chat them in and I will answer them and address them now. And then they enter their account, distributor account number, agree to the terms of service and hit submit. That's it, that's all they have to do. We started this program back in August, the end of August, I believe. And uh, dang it, I wish I looked at the numbers again. I think we have over 15,000 upgrades so far, which is awesome. So there's three different rebates that they can get. The first one comes from Qualsys, that's us. And we get a report from alarm.com. Every time, every time that uh, you upgrade an alarm.com or non-alarm.com account from non-LTE to IQ Panel 2 Plus, you're going to get a $30 rebate from Qualsys. And we are, what we're going to do, I'm going to audit them and make sure that they are a dealer, that their account information is correct and things like that, so far as I can see. I'm going to send it to accounting. Accounting is going to notify your teams there at your distributor and say, you know, ABC Security has, a, they did one upgrade, they get a $30 rebate to be applied to their account as a credit memo. And then they're gonna apply it, your team's gonna apply it, and it's all good. They lag about 30 days. The alarm.com reports the pattern that we're seeing after having done it now for a few months. The pattern that we're seeing is alarm.com 
is sending me the report. Okay, how do I explain this? So for the month of January, I get the report February 15th, and then the credit memo will be applied by February 28th, or this year, the 29th. So it'll be applied at the end of the month for January. So February's, um, February's upgrades are coming through the pipeline now. You guys should actually see them this Tuesday, the last day of the month. So you'll, you'll see those coming through. If you work with the accounting team in the credit memo, you'll see those come through. Um, and then alarm.com is doing additional rebates. Rebate number two is $30. When you convert any non-alarm.com account to alarm.com, submit a competitive conversion using the partner portal, alarm.com partner portal, or the mobile tech. And they added, uh, click here for more details, and it walks through very basically how the dealer has to do that. Basically, it's up to the dealer to select the proper options to ensure it ends up on my report from alarm.com. And then the third rebate is when they do a competitive, alarm.com competitive conversion, and they add pro video with analytics. And when they do that, they will get their last $30 rebate. On those last two, they will work directly with their alarm.com rep. On this very first one, the closest rebate, they'll work with me. And in order to get on this rebate form, they just have to scroll down and that's it. So those are probably the biggest ones that, um, uh, programs that I'm working with, they are the ones that we're seeing the most excitement out of the dealers. If they want tips and tricks on how do I communicate and how do I leverage the programs, how do I market to my demographic, a lot of dealers are old school. If they're anything like uh, the dealer that I worked for was, we kind of were hands off initially <laughs> when I first started there. We do the install and then it was like, hey, don't talk to them. If they're not talking to us and we're not talking to them, it's good, right? <laughs> we're good. But that's not really the way that this will work. How, when you have to go back and do an upgrade, your customer has to feel like feel like th they're taken care of by the dealer. And if now all of a sudden they're like, oh, I want to do an upgrade, but we want to get you a new panel or, you know, you trust me, right? We want them to know that their dealer is the person to go to if they want a, a new panel or if they want smart lighting or if they want a door lock or if they want a smart doorbell they're getting marketed to by all of these different people we want to help because we feel like we come at the security industry and the smart home industry with a little different idea and we've got the bandwidth to help support and help generate different assets to make the dealer feel like they can market to their demographic the way that they want to without us just being like well here's an email if you don't use this it'll never work that's not really our mentality. When it comes to these 3G upgrades, just as an example, at the very bottom, we've got, here's a pamphlet, here's upgrade email campaigns, and here's a video download you can use. If these don't fit how you wanna go to, biz, how you wanna go to market with this particular campaign, call us. I, I would love to talk to them. What's your plan? How many upgrades do you have? How many, what do these accounts look like? How long have you had these accounts? Um, do you think email is the best way? Do you have emails? Do you just have phone numbers? Because I've been that person on the phone cold calling and doing upgrades. I get it. I understand the hurdles that comes with it. So any and all of these different in initiatives that we're running for 2020, we want to talk to your dealers and we want to make sure that they feel supported and that they get new ideas and new assets if that's what they need. So, um, okay, questions. Pete says, don't upgrade your cellular upgrade your customer. I couldn't agree more with Pete. <laughs> okay, Bill, you wanna know if I can email you the program, the builder form and the upgrade form. I can email you the links, but they're all on the dealer portal, so you still have to have that login in order to get to it. But I can put that in after this call. You're going to get a summary email and I'll put that in there, uh, those two links. Okay, and then, how are the credits issued? So the credits from the rebates are being applied to the distribution account as a credit memo for that dealer. So based on the, so this alarm.com support ID is gonna tell alarm.com what account to look at to see how many upgrades they have. And then this distributor account number is gonna come from the dealer to, it's the number, the account number they have with you as the distributor so that when I send it to your team, you know, 
oh, I just have it's account number one, two, three, four for ABC security. And then you just apply that credit memo. Okay, perfect. That's all the questions I have. Awesome. Okay. So one other thing we get lots of calls. I get lots of calls from distribution about is products. Um, so let me just show you on qualsys.com. We've got our full product page here with part numbers. So if you ever want to know what our product line are, product line, product numbers are, you can go onto qualsys.com and it's all listed there. The IQ panel product numbers are a little bit trickier to get to. You've got to click on the picture of it and then just scroll all the way down and then here's all of your part numbers. Because we have three different frequencies all offered with Verizon, AT&T and TELUS cards, we do have a lot of product numbers. I don't mind if you call me at all, but I just also wanted to empower you guys to know where it is too. Um, and on these product pages, every single product is gonna have a quick guide, an install manual, a user guide, uh, different language downloads if we have them and things like that. Um, yeah, so there's the products. There was one other thing I wanted to talk about. There was more than one, what was it? Um, training, that's not true. Facebook, which is kind of an odd thing to talk about, but don't mind my feed here. If you go to, whoops, oh, there's the technician. If you go to Qualsys on Facebook, my page is gonna look a little bit different from yours because I'm an admin. But if you go to Qualsys, we've got a few different pages that I am doing social media for. So if you scroll all the way down, we have a technician and installers page. So this page is pretty active with questions about, oh, I've run into this issue, how do I resolve it? Um, Kevin Woodworth manages that, and so he's responding frequently to that. Qualsys Distributors, that's obviously pertinent to you guys. Get on this page because I'm gonna be posting regularly about different things that are coming out that pertain specifically to distribution. So if we have a new product launch, you guys are gonna know about it first. And that's why being on this page and being on my email list is so important so that you guys know about it and a dealer doesn't walk in and you're like, oh, what? <laughs> Never heard of that. So hopefully we get you the information um, that you need. And then there's sales and marketing. Any new assets that we create, videos, things like that, we're gonna post there. But we have an extra incentive. If you guys get onto the distribution page and you complete your training, I am gonna get you swag and I am going to get you, um, we're going to start a, uh, a discount program to get an IQ Panel 2 Plus in your home. And so we're going to leverage Facebook group training. If, you've, if you're on the training, you've completed it. And um, we want to give you a discount and make sure that you get a panel. So hold on. Tammy has a question. As far as branch dealer trainings, what's the best way to get them scheduled? In our region, for instance, is short on boots on the ground. I can help you with that. Um, I'm your person. So you want to schedule trainings. You want to do something new. You want to do something different. I can help you. I'll work with your rep who's local if you want a physical training, and I'll get someone in there. And if your local rep can't do it for some reason, we've got Qualsys reps that can fly out. Our schedule might be a little tight, but we can make it work. And of course, we can always do WebExes. We can do something like this. It's a little out of the norm, and dealers might it'll be kind of a learning experience if we do just a straight WebEx, but I'm happy to host anything you want. If you want to do a training specific to your dealers at your location, I'd love to help. And I'll help arrange it, I'll help get content, I'll help get someone to host it, all of that. If you want a technical training, I work with the TAMs out of the office, out of the Orem office, I'm happy to tell them what to do and when to be there. So good question, Tammy, I hope that helps. The other thing that I'm doing for branch trainings is every time that the sales rep tells me about it, because I'm working closely with them too, I'm gonna create a flyer that you guys can put in your location and that the sales rep can then market. But then more than that, I'm going to take that flyer and I'm gonna email it out to your uh, region so that if you're in the state of Arizona or whatever and you're doing a training, I want the dealers to know about it. So we wanna increase that attendance. Um, what if you already finished the training? Can I still get swag? Yeah, come on, Mike. I'm gonna call you Mike, I hope that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll still get you swag. So just email me. My email is whitney.white, like the color, at qualsys.com 
or you can email distributors at qualsys.com that comes to me directly. I'm happy to get you any and all of that. Um, the other thing, last thing, that's not true. Two more things and then we'll be done. Oh, I don't want to open Keynote. Oh, that's an example of a training flyer. <laughs> in case you're wondering. That's not what I wanted to pull up, but it's helpful nonetheless. Okay, so the what I want to do for each of your locations, I want to deck you guys out. So if you feel like your location should have or wants to have any of these items, let me know. I want to hook you up. We've got floor stickers, we've got shelf liners, we've got floor banners, we've got product boxes, we've got the shelf wobblers. Those are the little things that are hanging off the shelf and they kind of wobble. Um, but new this year, you guys have probably seen the big end caps. They're what, four feet wide, two feet tall, something like that. Those things are massive. They're like 60 pounds. I know because I had to lift all of them and ship all of them. <laughs> My husband helped me, he works at Qualsys too. He got a hernia helping me, <laughs> true story. We have created a new display and it is a mini display. So it is 30 pounds. <laughs> and it's, it can, it allow, because it's smaller, it's easier to travel and things like that. So if you guys are interested in one of those, let me know. I don't know that I'll be able to get everyone all of these things, but if, if I know that you're interested, that's a heck of a lot better of a position to be in than someone who's quiet and I don't know you want one. So if I can, I will get you these. Our first order lands, oh, when does it come? Uh, the end of April. So we'll have them in hand. I'll be, we will ship them out and things like that. So let me know. They will be on the dealer portal available for purchase as well for dealers. Um, so that's what I wanna do there. We talked about training days. We talked about custom marketing. We talked about social media. Okay, so again, only a few things to remember. And the great thing about this is if a dealer walks in and says, I wanna know about Qualsys. And you're like, oh, I did a training, I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay, we can do another training, but just pull the box out. And if you look at the box that we've designed, it has cues of things to talk about. And it has these six things on it. Looks matter, hands-free experience, user experience matters, range matters. Uh, it comes with a free camera, and then you've got a reduction in truck rolls and cost savings on that as well. Um, okay, I think that's it. No, it's not. We have a, hold on, let me come up here. We are doing a webinar when? We're doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow at, oh my gosh, do you think I would remember because I wrote all of the content for it? Um, I don't remember what time it's at, but it's on here. Okay, we've got a webinar happening tomorrow for social distance selling. We are in unprecedented times. This is a strange time to be living and to be operating and doing your business in right now, but we really feel like now's the time to cushion your prospects and to really come up with a game plan so that when we go back to things get back to normal, we're ready. Now is the time to, for your dealers to be calling us and figuring out how do I wanna go to market for my upgrade campaign? Let us help. We can help you do all of that. And this webinar is gonna be all about social distance selling. How do you keep your business going and keeping the numbers up when we're in such a strange time? It, what's interesting is we've had dealers report back that last Saturday was their highest sales date ever so strange so we have talked to them we've done a round table with them we've learned what works for them and what we should talk about to everybody else so we're all in the same boat so sales are up even though i am doing this webinar out of my bedroom sales are up and so we've got kevin woodworth and jeremy mclaren hosting it's tomorrow at noon i will include the link to register for that as well on the summary email Again, you can get all of these links on that dealer portal. We added a couple new guests, Kirk McDowell, president of MacGuard, security advisors, Nate Natale from um, alarm.com, as well as Andy Feldman. So it's gonna be a really good uh, webinar. We have, I think we have over five people, re five, five people, we do have over five people registered. We have over 500 people registered. People are hungry for this. So we're excited, join it so that you know what we're talking about, tell your dealers about it, 
email me if you have questions. I want to hook you up. I want to make sure that you're doing dealer trainings. You know what you need to know and all of those different things. I think we have answered all of the questions and we are right at the top of the hour. So if you guys don't have any other questions, I'll stay on for a few more minutes in case you do. But I want to thank you guys for taking time. I know it's hard to work from home. I know it's hard to work out of the office when we're social, social distancing. I know it's hard to take time out of your day. So I really just want to make sure you know that I appreciate your time for being here. If you had people that want to join, we have three more sessions. We have another one happening at uh, two o'clock mountain time today. And then the same times on Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on mountain time on Friday as well for the same session. If you want to join again, because you're just my biggest fan, I would love to see you again. Thanks again for joining you guys. I hope you have a good day. Bye.